Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. I'm so happy because, like I said, I wanted to revisit this and reflect on this. I'm so happy that Snoop Dogg said what he said about Eminem because, like I said, about him being the great white hype and basically saying that a lot of his success is because of Dr. Dre. I believe to a certain degree that Dr. Dre put Snoop on the back burner for Eminem. I think Snoop won't ever come out and say that because Snoop does have this loyalty to Dr. Dre. But I do believe Snoop played the background to Eminem and he shouldn't have because at the end of the day, Dr. Dre made a lot of money off that off that doggy style album, Him and Suge Knight. You know. And I feel that Dr. Dre could have could up and should have kept it black first. Like I said, he could have worked on Eminem, he could have worked on on other people, but Snoop should have always been a priority. And even when Dr. Dre left left death row, he could have tried to see could he still work with Snoop. Now you hear different things about what allegedly happened behind the scenes with death row. We'll never get the truth because like I said, Be Real also confirmed that Easy E was that dude as far as, you know, you know, Compton go. Because you heard Mob James say it. He said that a lot of that stuff that was portrayed on that straight out of Compton movie didn't happen with Easy E. Because people said Easy E had too much respect in the streets because Easy E, you know what I'm saying? Um, Easy E was from Kelly Park. And people respected that dude, you know. Then it's a question of what Easy E allegedly passed away from on how true that is. Because his autopsy say he passed away from something else. Not for what they've been saying he passed away from. And you still got DJ Blad saying that Easy E passed away from from, you know, from the from the disease that start with an A. Where his both his children and BG Knockout said that he did not die of that disease. But you know, DJ Blad still insisting on, you know, trying to use Easy E for the catalyst of, you know, safe sex and disrespecting his family. Because there's just as many white people that died from that shit as black people. And once again, it's because of black people why DJ Blad feel like he could say the shit that he says because once again you got Negroes validating him and he one of the biggest culture vultures out there but at the end of the day you didn't hear me and other people say hey man stop talking to that dude dude is an instigator and that's just real talk and it need to be said but you know people ain't gonna you, you, you know people like us they pick and choose when they want to tell the truth so I'm just keeping it 100 but um Getting back to the Eminem thing, like I said, I'm so glad that, you know, I'm just really glad that Snoop brought that out because this Eminem and this greatest rapper ever shit is a charade and he has been the great white hype. I got white people saying that they know white boys that can rap way better than, than Eminem. And like I said, I never had an issue with Eminem being a white rapper because like I said, I love License to Ill by the Beastie Boys. And there have been white rappers that I have listened to. I support G Easy, even though he you you know, he from the town, even though I wouldn't never buy his records, but I support him because he's an Oakland artist. You know, there have been plenty of good white rappers. That's just real talk. But to say that Eminem is the greatest rapper that ever lived is just is just nonsense. And I think Snoop Dogg got to the point to where he was tired of living that lie. Because Eminem ain't a better lyricist than the people that Snoop Dogg named. And it gotta be told. But like I said, you know, um, Eminem fans, a lot of them are so ignorant 
like I said, you can't have a civil conversation with them. Like I say, they only argument to support that Eminem is the so-called GOAT is record sales. And as I said before, until the last, uh, until the last um, Avengers movie, Avatar, I think, was the highest grossing film uh, internationally and domestically. And before that, it was Titanic. That's funny. Two films directed by James Cameron. And as I said before, until the last, I forgot what that, oh, um, Avengers Endgame. Well, until Avengers Endgame, I think it was Avatar. And Avatar to me was one of the worst movies that I ever saw. That movie to me, it, it, it was terrible. Like I said, once you got past the special effects, it was a mediocre plot. It was basically a subliminal uh, white savior because basically those blue people were supposed to be like a village of black people or in, indigenous you know, uh, people. But we'll just say for argument's sake, we'll just say melanated people. And then, you know, basically you had the dude um, uh, be the white savior. And that's all it came down to. Let's, let's just cut the shit. And James Cameron thought he was uh, slick with what he was trying to say in that movie, but I figured it out once I got through watching that movie and that really made me not like that movie. But it was one of the most overrated movies that I had ever seen. I think if it's two movies that I think was extremely overrated that everybody was talking about, Avatar was one and that movie The Usual Suspects I think that was one of the most overrated movies that that I had ever seen The The Usual Suspects was a very overrated movie I'm, I'm just keeping it 100 that's just my opinion but getting back to the, to the Eminem thing that's the point that I've been trying to make so because Eminem sold a whole bunch of records that means he the greatest I mean, yeah, he has a lot of fans, but that doesn't mean his fans are intelligent. And to be honest with you, most of Eminem's fans are not really hip hop fans. They're people that listen to other alternative music. They're not real hip hop heads. And I think the sad part about it is with so-called Eminem fans are the black ones that try to argue with other blacks about how good Eminem is. I, I didn't have to check and put a lot of so-called black Eminem fans in their place. Well, this rapper validated Eminem, so you need to get out of your feelings. But your, your bitch ass is in your feelings. You responded to something I said. Obviously, obviously, you so-called got bothered by what I said. Get out of here talking that gay internet talk, man. That shit is gay. When you say shit like you all up in your feelings, dude, that's, talk like a man. Talk like a damn man. I'd rather you use the word stop hating on him and you all of your feelings. Dude, you sound like a bitch when you talk like that. Some of you youngsters, man, with y'all dialogue, it ain't, as, it ain't as good as ours, man. Let's just face the fact. Our dialogue is way better than, than y'all's, man. Y'all be making up goofy-ass words all of your feelings. Dude, that's, how a bit, that's something that a, a chick would say. I'm not even going to say a bitch because I got a lot of sisters that support my channel. You know, for real. But when I hear dudes talk like that, that's real suspect. The dudes that say get out of your feelings are the dudes that you see that wear them skin tight jeans that look like leotards and shit. And, and, and to a certain degree look like uh, capris and shit. Them the type of dudes. And then they have, and then at the end of the day, they had the audacity to have their pants hanging all the way past they, they, they butt crack like everybody want to see that. I'm I'm just I'm just keeping it one I'm just keeping it 100. Those are the black Eminem fans. Because like I said before, you guys are deaf tone when it comes to Eminem because if you really listen to Eminem's music, his beats are god awful. And he even admitted, "Well, I'd rather have lyrics than beats." Well, here's another thing. Well, sometimes your lyrics ain't on point neither. Cuz I'm gonna tell you some Eminem then had hella songs where he didn't rap about shit. His lines wasn't clever at all. Cause like I said, all you gotta do is listen to some of LL Cool J's old shit. LL Cool J's punchlines is, I, I mean, is, is, is 
on point. And I'm talking about 1985. And then you listen to Rakim, listen to his punchlines and shit. You know, just because they said Eminem was good, they didn't say that he was better than them. And then you get to do say, well, black rappers validated Eminem said that he was good. They just said he was good. They didn't say he was the greatest that ever lived. Like I said, nobody ever said that Eminem couldn't rap, but that that goat shit, that is a bunch of bullshit. And I'll, and, and I'll destroy in, any Eminem fan that try to say otherwise. And I'm tired of y'all acting like we can't criticize Eminem. Like I said, Eminem has put out garbage music the past 10 years. His music has been god awful. That, that album, Music to Be Murdered By, was god awful. I listened to it. And I listened to it ob objectively. If he had had some good stuff on there, I would have said so. That that album was god awful. Like I said, Kamikaze was okay. He had some okay stuff on there. And the album before that, the Marshall Matters 2 LP, that album was god awful. And that rap god song was was garbage. And his his response to Machine Gun Kelly was garbage. And like I said, his fans said he won just because he responded. And it, like I said, if you really listen to the content of both songs, anybody with common sense would, would have saw that our Machine Gun Kelly's diss track was far better. It was boo-boo. And like I said, whose career Eminem really ended? Let, let, let's, keep it, let's keep it 100. Eminem, and let's just face the fact, cannabis career was already done. If you want to trust him, well, he went after cannabis. Yeah, and like I said, cannabis was done after second round KO. He put all his energy into that one song to come after LL Cool J, but he didn't have nothing else for LL Cool J. Even though LL Cool J, it took him two and a half efforts to get cannabis out of there, he got cannabis out of there. And like I said, who is Eminem really went after? Eminem ain't never went, went after no real lyricist. He ain't never said nothing about Nas. He ain't really went after dudes like, man, for real. I'm just trying to tell you. And if Eminem do a versus battle, he going to get exposed. He would got exposed against DMX. And he, and, and, and for real, Eminem do a versus battle, he going to get exposed. And his fans going to get exposed too. That's why he dropped out of, that's why he dropped out of the battle with DMX. Keep in mind, he was supposed to go against DMX. Eminem know he going to get exposed. When he tried to play his best 20 songs and you have to listen to them bullshit ass lyrics talking about how you hate his mama and all that type of shit like i said eminem ain't gonna be able to pull out hella songs out his ass i almost know what he gonna play and i'm just keeping it 100 and let's just talk about dr dre's beats just because you play a beat by dr dre don't guarantee you victory all the time you gotta have something behind it so, if he think he gonna be able to use 20 Dr. Dre songs just to get him over the hump and think that's gonna guarantee him victory, nah, that's not gonna work. I'm, I'm just keeping it, I'm just keeping it 100. You know. And then you gotta listen to the lyrics too. Like I say, when people really listen to that shit that he be rapping about, people gonna be like, ugh. But people had to hear the truth and i'm glad it came from somebody like snoop like i say stop thinking that you can't say stuff about the white boy because at the end of the day once again the mayonnaise nation ain't running shit i mean the truth gotta be the truth gotta be told i mean i'm just keeping it 100 Like I said, this has just been a, 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 a thing for the last 20 years with Eminem. Like I said, everybody can be criticized except him. Well, I got news for you Eminem fans. He ain't made good shit in a while. And I hope other rappers follow suit. Because like I said, Eminem, Eminem is very overrated as a, as a lyricist and a rapper. And like I said, his albums, his last few albums have sucked big time. Because like I said, I want this to resonate through you Eminem fans' head. We can criticize Eminem and we can say what we want to say about Eminem. Just because you white 
and you say Eminem is the greatest rapper of all time doesn't mean you correct and doesn't mean it's the gospel because because I'm white and I say so don't work on my channel oh Eminem's oh oh you're just a hater you're just a hater. Oh, you just don't like him. You just don't like him, man. Man, that shit is played out, man. And and I'm glad Snoop basically started to expose that too. Stop acting like Eminem get a pass and that he can't be critiqued just because if you ask me, that's that so-called so-called reverse racism that you talked about, reverse reverse racism. Cause like I said, y'all y'all Eminem fans really listen to people like Pink Floyd and 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 Pink and and people like that. Y'all ain't really hip hop fanatics. Cause like I said, I can name like 25 MCs that got better catalogs than than Eminem, and got better better records, better lyrics, better music than Eminem. Eminem's Eminem on his best day cut to see Buster Rhymes in a versus battle. That's just real talk. Keep in mind, Dr. Dre is produced for Buster Rhymes. You put Eminem's best 20 songs against Buster Rhymes' best 20 songs, it's a blowout in favor of Buster Rhymes. Like I said, Eminem gonna get exposed if he do that versus battle. And it ain't gonna be nothing that his fans can do to save him. But nevertheless, thank you for listening. This your boy Town Biz, I'm out.